Greetings, Knights of YouTube. I am your Lord Commander, and welcome back to our Hammer and Anvil series right here in the lands of Westeros. Now, I do just want to extend my gratitude for you guys. You guys absolutely blew up this, uh, you know, episode one of our Ironborn series, The Iron Price. Uh, you all really seemed to enjoy it, and uh, I really enjoyed making it for you guys. It was definitely a lot of fun. And uh, I definitely look forward to the rest of that adventure, but it is time to step back into the role of the dutiful lord of the Stormlands, the uh, the Stormhammer, the Kingslayer himself, Kingslayer two times over. Yeah, Lord Stefan the Stormhammer of House Tanner. Yeah, and my beautiful wife, Veronica Tanner, and my beautiful son, who's uh, still just an infant, newborn, uh, Doran. Love that. Yeah, lovely. We still have all of our companions, all of our amazing companions. Thanks to you guys. Y'all are fantastic. Ah, beautiful. Love it. Anyways, lads, we are here outside of Storm's End, uh, King Renly's ancestral home and the capital of his realm. For now, until we officially take uh, King's Landing away from these, uh, these bastard Lannisters. Uh, Silver Hill is under siege, which is perfect. Uh, that means all that remains will be Cornfield, Crake Hall, and Lannisport in the Westerlands. And then we will turn our attention to King's Landing. Now, I believe we can most definitely summon an army large enough to take on King's Landing now. But I don't want to do that. So, I would like very much for us to conquer all of the Westerlands and then turn our attention towards King's Landing. Um... Uh, and hopefully that will be, you know, pretty interesting. But, alas. Damn. There is 1,500 defenders in King's Landing. That's crazy. Those are some crazy numbers, lads. Alright, I would like to head over to Silver Hill. Now that we're over here, let's make our way to Silver Hill. Oh, King Renly Baratheon. What is he doing out here without any defenses, without any protection? He's got 190 men, but like... What are you doing? Back off, bandit. This is the rightful king, Renly Baratheon. Help Renly Baratheon. I didn't really want to go raiding, if I'm being honest, in this series, but uh, I didn't want to just leave him on his own. We're out here laying, uh, laying siege to the lands of King's Landing, outside of King's Landing. How long will the, uh, the people stand behind their absentee king? Who knows, lads? Who knows? Perfect. Dorn has reached the age of five and he needs your guidance. My sweet boy. Look at him. I love him. Doran is now old enough to play independently with the other children of the estate. You are particularly struck by how he... Let's do takes charge. So I'm, I'm trying to think this out. Because remember when we started this campaign... We said that Lord Stefan was not a uh, an accomplished military leader right off the bat. He was a, you know, a smith, son of a smith, and a house of smiths who just smith weapons all day long. You know, that's what we did. We were smiths. But now that we have uh, plied our trade and kind of adapted into the role of, like, the military leader and the, uh, the storm hammer, if you will, I believe that... Uh, someone like Lord Stefan would want to have that legacy live on within his child, you know? So he may not be, like, super strong right off the bat, because those are all things that he can learn over time. But the I feel like the most important part of Lord Stefan's life that he would want to impart upon his child is the ability to lead his people. Because now he is, um, you know, Doran is the heir to Dragonstone. He is the heir to, uh, to Sharp's Point. So... All of these people, all of these peasants and the small folk and the uh, the minor lords and whatever, they are all now part of our responsibility. That's part of his responsibility. So I feel like, uh, oh well, see now now I'm starting to get it because I'm thinking it out now. Doran is now old enough to play with the kid uh, with the other children. You are particularly struck by how he. So this is kind of what he does on his own as like a five year old. We haven't started teaching him anything. I want to teach him how to be a leader. But I want him to grow up to, like, as a child, to, like, grow and be, like, a, a strong young lad, just like his dad, you know? 
Like, he's kind of got, like, the, the built frame for it already. You know what I'm saying? So, let's say, uh, yeah, let's do Vigor. Let's increase his Vigor. Doran spends time by himself as well. Frequently. Making his own toys. Oh, he's going to be a smith like his father. That'd be interesting. Let's do fighting mock battles. Because now that, you know, again, as we, uh kind of transition away from being like the the smiths and the miners and the you know whatever else that we are on uh the isle of tarth we now you know hold load we now hold lordship over the isle of dragonstone which means that uh you know learning the histories of like the targaryens and the battles and the conquests and the dance of the dragons and now the war of the five kings and you know the stories of his his own father lord stefan uh, I feel like fighting mock battles is definitely something that Doran would end up doing in that environment. His tutors continue to remark on Doran's progress, commending his social skills. Nice. Very nice. So he's already like a natural born leader. I love that. My dear boy, I love him. What a cheeky little bastard he is. I love him. All right, I'm getting like real nervous with Renly just kind of being around here. He's heading to Shipbreaker. Where the fuck is that? Ah, okay, so he's he's heading back home. Cool. Boris Blount. Interesting. Mary Mertens. Yeah, let's go after Sir Boris. Come along, Sir Boris. Don't run from me. Yeah, caught his ass. That's close. <clears throat> That's close enough. Now, who are you? I am Lord Stefan the Stormhammer, Lord of Dragonstone and head of House Tanner. And who are you? I am Bor. I am Sir Boros of House Blount, sworn Kingsguard to. Damn. Wait a minute. Who is? That's interesting. All right. So I forgot. I was thinking it out in my head. I forgot that once I executed Joffrey. Uh, technically, Tommen would have been sworn in as the king, like it was in the show and in the books, even despite the fact that Marcella is alive. But in the game, Marcella took over as the head of their clan. So I wonder who would officially be, like, the king of Westeros? That's interesting, isn't it? Uh, whatever. We're gonna fight it out. Do you want to duel? Do I want to duel one of the king's guard? Oh, no. He wants to fight it out anyway. Cool, so that just means I get to go after his ass first and foremost anyway, lads. I would have much rather had the opportunity to, like, take his ass down in one-on-one -on -one combat. You know, like the stories of Lord Stefan the Stormhammer, how he struck down Sir, Bor Sir Boris Blount. The way he struck down Sir Boris Blount of the uh, of the King's God during the War of the Five Kings in single combat. Stuff like that, you know? The stories that they're, they're going to tell for us. Maybe one day, lads. Maybe one day. I'm gonna put my archers up here. I'm gonna put my cavalry over here. And my infantry can follow me. Yeah, come along, lads. Follow me. Yeah, they don't have a whole lot of troops to begin with anyway. But my eyes are trained on Sir Boris Blount. Is it Blount or Blunt? I feel like I don't know how to pronounce that man's name. I feel like I'm way too far away to be attempting to snipe that man out like this. I got his horse, though. I'll tell you what. That's pretty cool. Damn, I got his horse again. That's crazy. He knows I'm after his ass. Come on, Sir Boris. Nah, don't run away from me, you coward. Kill the bastards. Oh, that's my own man. I saw the Westerlands armor. Yeah, Sir Boris is down. Kill the bastards, all lads. Yeah, he's got Kingsguard with him. He's got, uh... Uh, the city watch with him. He's got peasants with him. Or gold cloaks is what I meant, not the city watch. But yeah, you know, you get it. You get it. Oh, that's my own man, Forge Master. Sorry about that. 
Yeah, there's a couple of horsemen left, and that's about it. Not bad. I love how they go and, like, pick up their, their javelins across the field. Not bad. Where is Sir Boros? Yeah, look at the rat bastard. You know what I think? Yeah. Fuck you, guy. That's what I think. Very nice. Oh, we lost two men. A Black Forge Knight and a Storm Soldier both gave their lives in this, uh, in this assault. Damn. We feel our losses keenly in the Stormlands. We are not like the, the Western Lords who are, you know, conscript peasants to fight for us. Stop. I yield. You fought well, Sir Boros, but you are my prisoner now. Some gold cloak pauldrons. Those look like ass. They might look better if, uh... Oh, some dented Kingsguard boots. That's crazy. Hold on. Let's, uh... We do all of that. Does somebody else want some gold cloak pauldrons? Eh? No, those look like ass on you too. Sorry about that, lad. There you go. So, Raynard. Those kind of look like ass on him too. That's a shame. But it's only because... He has vanilla armor. If he didn't have vanilla armor, it would probably look a little different. Those look pretty good on him. It doesn't really match, like, the whole Lannister vibe, for sure. But I think it looks pretty good. So Thoros Stormsea, this might not match. Yeah, no, definitely not. What about Lady Alara? Oh, well, her armor is already better. It matches, for sure, but it, it you know, her armor is already kind of badass, so... Um, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of want to give these to uh, Sir Roderick Hill. Yeah, the Black Pauldrons. Dude, look at that. Oh, and he's got the, uh, the, uh, what's it called? The elbow piece, it's called like a cooter or something like that. Interesting. Yeah, he looks good though. I like it. Not bad. Do I want to give these to somebody else now? Nah, not really. Because it doesn't, it's not gonna match the vibe. You know what I'm saying? What else do we have? Swords? Yeah, lots of swords. Very nicely done, lads. Not bad. Oh, that's right. Stoke Village has been uh, raided recently. Oh, so is Brittlewood. Oh yeah, because we did that one. Duh, my bad. All right, well we need we need to head somewhere. Let's head to Traveler's Rest. See if we can't get some more uh, some more troops. I think we're only down by like two or three, honestly. But still, you know, I want us to be at our max party. Perfect. Now the question is, make peace with the Summer Isles. Finally. Yes, I would I would vote in favor of that. Yeah, we need time to recover from the hardships of war. Uh, yeah, I don't see why not, dude. Uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna uh, abstain just because we're gonna... We're going to win that vote anyway. Or they're going to pass that vote, I mean. But, alas. Tease with the tease. Oh, Cersei Lannister. Oh, no, one of these caravans. Oh, they kind of got it. Good shit. Yeah, they didn't They didn't need me. Yeah, Cersei Lannister and Marin Trant. Yeah, who else is in here? 100%, 100%. Yeah, not bad. City Watch Spearmen, City Watch Crossbowmen. Literally 400 plus of each. It's not bad. Yeah, I want to I kind of want to wait around here and see if I can't catch any of them climbing out of the uh crawling out of the city. I wonder if I get close. Will they poke out at me? Kind of want them to poke out at me. Ooh, I wonder if they'll Oh, Marin Trent. Yeah. Damn. He was going to he was going to come out uh after these uh this caravan. Yeah, I would love to take uh, Queen Cersei and, and Marin Trant. <gasps> yes. Yes. 4.5. Oh, we're, we match speed with her so bad. Come on. Hold on. I might have to drop some shit off. Do I have any prisoners? Because if I have prisoners, I can drop them off. Yeah, dude. I have so many prisoners. What the fuck? Oh, come on, don't lose her. No, please. Where did she go? Yes. Yes, there she is. Come on. Catch her ass, lads. Oh, Boris Blount, you bastard. I knew it. Come on. 
We're gaining on her, lads. Do not lose sight of her in the night. Come on, we're nearly there. Catch her ass, lads, before she can hide in the Westerlands in her father's realm. Come on. Yes, yes, let's go. Oh, the queen mother, the mad queen herself. Stop. Who are you? I was about to say, that this, this is not something that Cersei Lannister would have said. Um, I am Lord Stefan the Stormhammer, Lord of Dragonstone, and head of House Tanner. And who are you? Yeah, we serve the Lord of Casterly Rock. I pass by the ruins of Castamere often as a reminder of my place. Yeah, I know your name. Of course you do. I executed your bastard boy. I'm the man who took your bastard son's head from his fucking shoulders. I would have done the same for your uh, your father, but I don't know, man. Something Something about that just did not want me to do that. Can I challenge her to a duel? Is she gonna fight me, bro? Is that that's crazy? I'm gonna duel Cersei Lannister in combat. <laughs> what the hell, bro? <laughs> Here she comes. Oh my god. <laughs> bro, come on. That's crazy. Oh, Queen Cersei. Bam. Bam. That's crazy. What kind of sword is she running around with? That's pretty interesting. Good looking sword. Cool, we took her ass down. That's wild. She really she really thought she was gonna duel it out with me and I was gonna let her go. Like what? Oh, that's wild. We're gonna go to the battle. We're gonna attack anyway. We're gonna put all of Cersei's men to the sword, and we're just gonna drag her ass back to uh Actually, I feel like we should send a raven to Renly and deliver her as a prisoner to him. So stay close. Yeah, we're just going to march forward, lads. They have 3 horsemen. They're all just going to come uh, rushing out at us. They said justice for the queen. Come then, let me deliver your queen's justice. They hit me so hard that I the scream lagged. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I can't even lie. Yeah, we'll get our, our cavalry to charge at these bastards. Oh, look at this. It's not even fair, dude. No, don't charge. What the fuck? Hello? Nobody's telling you to charge. What are you doing? I want you to stand right here. That's not what I'm saying. Thank you. Jesus, what the fuck? Oh, look at the Kingsguard. That's crazy. One of the Kingsguard uh, soldiers. That's wild. Oh, nice. Yeah, look at all our Stormlanders, dude. God damn. Shock and awe. Look, look at this horse armor, too. Jesus. The modders did such a great job with the designs here. And, like, just look at the details. Like, my God. That is, uh, that's pretty impressive, dude. That's very impressive. Yeah, very nicely done, lads. Yeah, we put the Lannister bastards to the sword. That's crazy. Joffrey's whole clan, because I, I believe we took uh, Tom and Baratheon as a prisoner at some point during one of our previous episodes. Uh, maybe we didn't, but somebody else did, because I remember seeing that uh, Tom and Baratheon was, uh, was taken as a prisoner. Ooh, a gold cloak helmet. Does somebody want a helmet? So Roderick, he's kind of, I gave him the noble default, but I think this looks pretty good on him too. Like, we can hold on to the Noble Default for sure. The only reason I gave it to him is because uh, I wanted to be able to, like, see his face in combat. But I think he looks really good with that. Lady Alara. Would she look good with this helmet on? Hold on. Let's find out. She would look good with this helmet on. 
She looks kind of badass with that. But I love seeing her red hair though. But th this is a is a cool look for her. I think we're gonna give her this, and then we can give the noble default back to uh to Sir Roderick. Yeah. I kind of want to wear the noble default just so I can see Lord Stefan. But at the same time, I love like his his badass Baratheon helmet too. We fought really hard to get one of those. Who knows? Maybe when my son is born, we'll uh, we'll pass this down to my son, or when my son is of age because he's already born, we'll pass this down to to Doran, and I'll take on the uh, you know the noble default or whatever. Yeah, sounds cool. God damn, that was cool. I can't believe we took Cersei Lannister. My friend, it's been a while. So then, what is it? Uh, your grace, I have something for you. A gift, if you will. The, ty the tyrant queen mother herself, Cersei Lannister. And I'll take some money. He's only going to give me 800 for her? I guess that's fine. I was about to say I wanted at least a thousand, bro. Like, be for real. There we go. 1151. Perfect. Uh, that is all, Your Grace. Good journeys to you, Lord Stefan. Thank you, Your Grace. He loves us so much, bro. Like, I love being friends with the king that we've chosen. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's always just such a, a, a great feeling. Like, it's one thing to serve a king. You know, anybody can serve. But it's another thing to be so close in relations with the person that you uh, swear your service to. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, the queen and I have been watching, you know, obviously been re-watching Game of Thrones lately. And, uh, god damn, look at all the allies. Yes, look at all the Stormlanders. Our march continues. But, uh, there's more than a few scenes where it's like, you know, uh, you know, go and follow your commander. Or, like, uh, you know, when John is at hard home and he's like... Men of the Watch with me! And then they all just pull their swords out. No hesitation. And they're right there on his back. Like, we got you, Lord Commander. Like, I love that shit, bro. Imagine being so close and so, like, not even honor-bound, you know? But, like, believing so much in, like, the ruler that you've, uh, that you've chosen. That you would, uh, I don't know, put your, your life on the line like that. I think that's pretty cool. Those are the concepts I, I really enjoy about Game of Thrones. Don't get me wrong. There's a lot. I'll run it. Connington. No, he was taken prisoner by Flemont. Well, we can't have that now, can we? Damn. I found him. Because Flemont is in this party. Yeah, he was taken by the, by the army. That sucks. Where are they heading? To Golden Tooth. Yeah, I mean, we obviously don't have enough men to, uh... To take on this army of 550... Wallace Massey's nearby. Three hours. What we're going to do is, uh, I think we're going to start to summon some lords into an army. What sucks is that everybody's, like, super far away. Let's get Adam Whitehead, because he is our kinsman. Yeah, we're going to go uh, low to high, obviously. Tanya Whitehead can join us. Monford Valarian is five days away. Raymond Connington. Uh, and then Adam Whitehead, because they're all kinsmen of ours. For the most part. Yeah, it's going to cost 103 renown or influence, but I'll take it. Yeah, come to us, Lord Wallace. Oh. Oh, they turned back to Cornfield. Perfect. It's going to give us plenty of time to, like, travel in their shadow and allow our allies to join our, uh, our, our army. I just don't want them to, like, turn back on us and we're going to get shit on. By 7 to 99 with the Valarians. Interesting. I don't remember what I did to make the Valarians all of a sudden like me. Ooh. Ooh. Ah, oh, damn. Ah, oh, but they're in the middle of the siege battle, too. So they're already weakened. Where where are they heading now? To Krakow. Aha. Oh, Gregor Clegane. Damn, there's so many uh, Westerlanders. But it's because they have nothing left. 
Traveling to Clegane's Keep. Yeah, they, they don't even know what they're doing. Oh, yes. Tonya Whitehead. Perfect. Come, my lady. Join us. Thank you. Adam Whitehead. Yes, my kinsman. Oh, nice. They took Cornfield. Perfect. The new owner of Cornfield. Uh, they wanted to go to Eustace Brune. Well, Eustace wants it to come to Eustace. And Gerald Staunton. Yeah, let's, uh... Let's put some, some influence towards that. Yeah, there we go. Fixing our relations with House Staunton. Yeah, and House Brune just really does not like us. Sorry, my lord. Yeah, look, my kinsmen, my allies. Yes, perfect. Now, we only have 460 to their 560. So, we're short by 100 men. But there are still allies on the way as well. So, I wonder if we can't just trap them here. Yeah. Go ahead and lay siege to this castle. Build your defenses. Build your, uh, your assault force and whatnot. There's 224 men here at uh, Mary Merton's party. Or army, sorry. Cornfield, Craig Hall is being taken. Lovely. We just wait for our allies. Yeah, Montero Valarian. That's going to put us over. Perfect. We have more than enough men to take on uh, this army now. Yeah, Ralph Buckler. Perfect. I kind of want to wait around for the full army. Yeah, there we go. Monteris. Yeah, here comes the last of them. And then the last two. Perfect. A thousand men, lads. Let's have at the bastards. We assault the siege camp. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. Gawain Westerling, Titus Brax, Tybalt Craighall, Joanna Hill, Aubrey, Flemont Brax, Poliver Flemont, and uh, Jane. Jane Bainfort and Flemont Marbrand. Interesting. Yeah, we attack, lads. And here we go, lads. The uh, the Stormhammer himself leading the charge against the last of the uh, the strength of the Lannisters. Strength, if you can call it that, if I'm being honest. But let us not forget the real reason we raised this army is to free our friend, to secure the freedom of our dear friend, Ronit of House Connington. I will not, will not allow that man to be held a prisoner with impunity. I was about to say, I, I have no idea where the uh, the enemy is. But I kind of want to keep my archers on the high ground. So I'm going to pull my archers this way into the trees on the hills. Uh, my horsemen can definitely take these flatlands here. And the remaining infantrymen can just ready up. Ready for the march, lads. And we'll see what happens. Yeah, they, they have a hundred cavalry with them. That's insane. True, follow me. Yeah, follow me, lads. They, they gotta adjust the line. Like, scooch it over a little bit. That's fine. Soldiers! Forward! We'll scooch our, our cavalry forward. Soldiers! Troops! Scooch our archers forward. Oh, careful, lads. Yeah, look at all these Stormlanders. The strength of House uh, of House Tana and House Baratheon. Look at Lady Alara Iceheart with her badass new helmet, dude. Fuck yeah, she looks like an absolute menace to be reckoned with, bro. I can't wait. I need my archers Soldiers! to start opening fire. Kill them all! Soldiers! Stand apart! Soldiers! Perfect. Troops! Charge! Troops! Charge! Alright, lads, come on. Let's take the fight to the bastards. Watch their archer fire. But get in there and kill the lions. Death to the Lannisters! Come on! Oh man. 
We're stuck in. Get in there, lads. Oh, come on. Come on. I'm going for the Archer lines. Come on, kill the Lannister bastards. For King Renly. For the Stormlands. Ooh, two of them in one. That's crazy. Yeah, my, I forgot about my archers, dude. My archers are getting absolutely shit on. Wallace Massey, hello, my friend. Yeah, I sent them to, to fight against the cavalry. Oh, look at him. He thinks he can take me. Nice try, rat bastard. Soldiers! Everyone attack! Yeah, everyone charge. Yeah, my infantry is almost depleted. Oh, no, no, no. That, that white line is showing their ammunition. Who was that? Raymond Connington. Perfect. Yay. Yeah, here comes my archers. Perfect. I just wanted to come meet up with my archers. I didn't want them to get, like, shit on by themselves, dude. That would suck. Soldiers! Kill them all! Soldier troops! Yeah, but they do still have reinforcements coming in, so we got to be careful here. All right, come along, archers. We have to uh, meet back up with the main force, with the main assaults. Come on, give me a horse real quick, just so I can ride over there. Damn it. Yeah, my riding skill just is dog shit, dude. So there's no chance in hell that's going to happen. But it's all right. The fight is still underway. Keep it going, lads. They're nearly finished. Yeah, I need my, my horsemen to go after their archers. Yeah, because the City Watch crossbowmen, they're getting some kills on us. I don't like that. Come on, lads. Finish this. God damn. Woo. The carnage. The carnage. Sir Reynard Virul, yes. My dear man. Oh, what a mad lad. Come on, kill the bastards. Kill the little lion cubs. Save yourselves. Damn. There we go. Not bad, lads. Uh, look at the march of the Stormlands, dude. Soldier forward! Soldiers move! Yeah, we'll hold off. We'll let the uh, the cavalry pursue. My infantry did good, but they're they are tired. They are wounded. And we'll let our our horsemen handle the rest of it. How many men are left? Three men. Two men. One man. Nice. Soldiers! Nice. Yeah, look at that army, dude. My god. Such nobility, such strength of the Stormlands. Excuse me. Oh, look at her. Yes, and all her fucking glory. And her bloody glory and everything. My god, what a menace. Yeah, dude. That's pretty fucking cool. She's wielding a Widow's Whale, I think. Valarian Sea Guard. Yeah, not bad. And yeah, look at all my allies. Yes, my kinsmen, my countrymen. This here is the true strength of House Tana. It is our allies always. Look at the Ravager. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, not bad. Where's the rest of my, my men at? Where's the rest of my, my allies? Yeah, Tonya Whitehead, Montaris Valarian. Yes, look at him in all his fucking glory, Sir Jeremy of House Steed. Oh, my man. Jesus, dude. God, I love this series.
Oh, this was amazing. This was one hell of a fight, lads. We lost 92 men in the army, 90 uh, wounded, but none out of our own party. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, Lady Alara got four kills. Sir Jeremy got four kills. Not bad. Oh, that was amazing, dude. Jason Malista has been released after a battle. Love that. I don't really need any of these prisoners, so we're just going to let them go free. I really give a shit about any of them, if I'm being honest, so it doesn't matter. And we can move on. Thank you very much. Now, all of this, all of this armor, if you will, I gladly take all of that. Thank you very much. Uh, these Castle Rock braces, yeah, we'll give these to the obvious choice. Very nice. Ooh, a Lannister sword. You know what? We'll give him a we'll give him a secondary weapon. Now he looks like a true knight. He's got the fucking the two-handed sword and the uh, the one-handed sword. What a mad lad. We'll get rid of that. There we go. He looks fucking good, man. He looks really fucking good. Yeah, not bad. Certainly not bad. And we'll just take everything else with us. That's fine. Yeah, that, that was a uh, that was a good fucking fight, lads. Very good indeed. Mary Mertens is off traveling, it seems. All we need now is for whoever's taking Craig Hall to take Craig Hall. I'm going to head to Lannisport. We took Casterly Rock ourselves, but we were not granted the uh, the glory of uh, of lordship over her. So, Which is fine. That is the uh, King Renly's kingly prerogative, after all. But uh, we will be on our way. Damon Marbrand with 14 men. Uh, we will be on our way to Lannisport. There's 1,200 men here. I don't know if I have enough influence to be able to take another uh, lord into my party, if I'm being honest. So let's go by lowest cost. Corwin. Perfect. Yeah, these numbers kind of suck. Arston Selmy's kind of got, like, the best numbers here. Like, biggest bang for, for the buck, as it were. Yeah, let's get Corwin anyway. It's seven for almost 100 men. I'll take it. It'll be a while till they get here. Which is fine. Here we go, lads. And so it begins the great siege of Lannisport. Yeah. We, ha we have the strength on them. They must have a lot of really low-tier troops. But this is it. We are going to take Lannisport away from them. Yeah, shit's already being built. This is fantastic. And who knows? At the very least, maybe all of these uh, minor lords are going to swarm our ass. And we can, uh, we can take them out as best we can. Yeah, look at them. Come on, I want them to swarm us. But they don't have enough men between all of them. That's crazy. They're so weak. Yeah, so Gregor the Flo the False Knight. Yeah, look, they're gonna they're gonna post up outside though. Yeah, they're gonna wait for us, lads. Oh Marin Trance, you fucking cunt. Move to reserve, thank you very much. Yeah, this is going to get pretty dangerous pretty fast here, lads. Because, look, they, they have a, an army ready up, readying up. They're going to probably summon a bunch of lords to them. Come on, I don't want to lose any of our lands to these, uh, these Lannister bastards. So we better be on the defensive. There we go. Open fire, lads. Yes, yes. Come on, take down that last baluster. Yes! Oh, it's fucking beautiful, lads. Let's go ahead and get our cohesion back up. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, 11,000... Er, holy shit, not 11,000. 1,135 uh, men laying siege to the 1,185 defenders within the uh, the port city of Lannisport. As if the insults weren't enough, we take we have taken the head of King Joffrey Baratheon, Joffrey Lannister. We have imprisoned the Mad Queen, the mother of uh, of Joffrey, Cersei Lannister herself. We have imprisoned Tywin Lannister, the uh, you know the great lion of his house and the slayer of uh, of House Rain of Castamir, and now. We lay siege to the very city named after the, the pompous, vain bastards, Lannisport itself. We have taken their ancestral home, Casterly Rock, and now Lannisport too shall fall to the might of Lord Stephen the Stormhammer. 
we shall lead our assault. And here it is, lads. The great siege of Lannisport is underway. Yeah, we have all our men marching out to take the fight to the bastards. Yeah. See, now's going to be our opportunity to try to get some more, uh, damn it, some more crossbow skills or level ups, I suppose. Maybe if I can fucking aim. I'm kind of ass. I don't know if you can tell. Lamau. Yeah, dude, I'm, I'm dog shit right now. <laughs> this is actually really bad. Dragonstone elites. Oh. Ooh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about, lads. Come on, we fight the bastards. I have 47 shots. I gotta hit something at some point. Like, fuck. There we go. Thank you. Hiya. I said hi -ah. Damn. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. hi -ah. Damn it. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, I am what you would call a dog shit in this game. I cannot aim in any game that I try to play. hi -ah. Fuck, bro. God bless America. God bless the Stormlands. God bless King Renly. Somebody's got to do it because I'm not blessing anything with this fucking crossbow skill. There we go. Popping off shots now, lads. I just got to be at point blank range to actually hit somebody. Which is fine. I'm not much of a ranger anyway. Oh my. There we go. There we go. Hell yeah. Oh, hello there. Oh, oh yeah. Aw, oh, damn it. Somebody else hit him and he recoiled, bastards. Aw, oh, dude, right between the two of them. That's crazy. We can say it was intentional and uh, just say that I have really good aim, you know? All right. Oh, shit. All right, men of the Stormlands, with me now. And now with me, we take this city and we cut down the Lannister filth forever from these Westerlands. Lannisport shall now fly the banner of House Baratheon, of our King Renly. Nice. Ah, oh, we are just blasting the city right now. Come on, lads! Push them back! Throw them from the top of their walls! There's so many of them. Holy shit, that's a lot of red. Got a blast. Hold on now. Ooh. Bonk. Bonk. Come on, lads. Come on, top heavy. There we go. Jesus. I was like, it, would, it wouldn't let me do a top. Come on. There we go. There we go. I wanted that casterly knight to get <laughs> fucked. Go get fucked. There we go. Yeah. Get lost. All of ya. There we go. Oh, they're dropping rocks on us. Come on, lads. Cut through the bastards. Yes, more Casterly Knights being felled. Being felled is what I meant to say. Jesus. Come on, dude. Push him back. Jesus, please. Somebody, somebody. Thank you. Thank you. There we go. Oh, no. Bro, that's so fucked. I'm actually so mad. There we go. I was wondering when our reinforcements were going to come in. Yeah, here they come. Yeah, very nice. Look at them. Oh, we, we definitely need to do a, uh, a Riverlander series because look at these fucking guys. Holy shit, they look cool. Yeah, the Riverlanders are going to be pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. How's it going down in here? Holy fuck. They're trying. They're really trying to push us out. 
I was like, where did all our men go? Did they all die in this uh, this frontal assault? That kind of sucks. Oh, they sure did. Damn. I may have underestimated our opponent. That kind of sucks. I mean, as it is, we're only allowed to have a certain number on the field of battle at a time. And they still have 400 or 500. Five they have gotten... I mean, it's pretty even, actually. We've got more kills than them, but barely. Yeah, it's looking pretty tough. It's not impossible. We're already, like, trying to push our way through. We just need to keep going. We need more of our men to get in here, too. Yeah, it's kind of a tough fight. Yeah, look at these Riverlanders, dude. God, they look cool. That's pretty interesting. I, I don't know why I never noticed how cool they looked before. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. Yeah, we just need another round of reinforcements. Because as it is, they've only killed 170 of ours. And they've wounded... Wait a minute. That's not right. They've only killed 225. They've killed 120 of ours and wounded 100. So in total, 220 men out of 1,100 have been wiped out or taken out of the battle. These numbers are fine. We just need another influx of reinforcements. But then again, the Lannisters have some too. Like, first of all, look at how bolstered... Yeah, look at how bolstered they are back here already. But it looks like we're finally poking our way out. It's not the greatest. It's certainly not the greatest. God damn, we've cleared the walls on this side, though. Why are we not sending men up this flank? Oh, we've cleared the men on this side, too. I see. I see. So there's still fighting going on. Not bad. Okay, so we're, we are getting shit done. That's what matters. And here we go. Some more reinforcements. Yeah, look at them come. Come on, lads. That's what I'm talking about. Look at the Reach Knight. Oh, no, that's not a Reach Knight. That's that Ravager from the last the last battle. That's crazy. Good shit, lads. Go on. Yeah, not bad. Got, got lots of uh, lots of good uh, troops coming in here. Yeah, very nice. Oh, look. They're trying to come out at us. Oh, the rat bastards. Cheeky bastards, dude. Yeah, they're like, send the men out there. Bro, that's crazy. Oh, they just got a huge influx of fucking reinforcements, too. They're really gonna charge out at us. That's insane. Yeah, look at you, you fucking bastards. Try it again. Try it with somebody else. Look at them flee. Yeah, we really need our reinforcements to get in here. Because we're mad outnumbered. I mean, we're, we've got a lot of kills on them. We've got a lot more kills than they do. They have a lot more dead than we do. Come on, lads. Yeah, but they, they got a lot of reinforcements that just came in, too. They have 700 men. And they're, they're really just going to pick on uh, pick on us at this, uh, this choke point. What we need is to get our fucking archers in there, dude. We have a lot of archers out here just kind of standing around. Like, look at all these guys. Come on, guys. Get in there. I wish I could give command to my troops when I'm, like, wounded, you know? Yeah, I cannot issue order while dead. Boo. But look at that. We're taking the walls, lads. Yes. Very nice. Yeah, and they're still trying to fight us here on this uh, on this choke point. God damn. That's crazy. That's a lot of dead Stormlanders. Yeah, that's crazy. There we go. We got some more reinforcements in here. Yeah, but they're just they're just killing us right now, man. Like we're really throwing our our all over here in this uh in the siege battle. And they're throwing it right back at us. But the the issue is that we're only able to bring in a couple 
a couple hundred men at a time. So we're, we're kind of just getting shit on by pure numbers sake, which really sucks. But that's, I mean, it should be fine. I'm getting kind of nervous. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, look at that. Launching shots into Lana's port. Ah, oh, damn it. But they're protected by their by our own siege weapon. The, the skeleton of our, our dead siege weapons. God damn, that's a lot of lions. Yeah, because the, the moment we jump into this assault right here, it's just an absolute meat grinder of uh, Lannisters on all sides. Not to mention all the uh, the archers and shit that they have back here. And all the archers they have back here. So if we try and assault the walls, we immediately get shit on on that regard as well. So it's kind of tough. I'm so, like, invested in the siege battle, though. I love being able to, like, free fly around and actually see it happen. This is pretty cool. I wish we could get our archers moved up, though. There we go. Are they moving? Please tell me y'all are actually doing something, bro. Oh, no. They're just setting up another archer formation to just sit here and snipe out our enemies. Which is cool. But I wish they did something. Because right now, we're still kind of getting shit on on the, the melee front. Yeah, that's kind of tough. All of my uh, companions were wounded, with the exception of Sir Roderick. Yeah, that's pretty tough. Damn, look at them. Yeah, look at them swarming. Oh my god. Yeah, there's like five uh, Stormlanders in here. They're holding the line, though. I'll tell you that much. They're holding the line. Oh, was that one of my men? Oh, no, that's not. Oh, look. More allies. Lovely. Yeah, here they come. Perfect. Come on, lads. Get up there. Yeah, the archers are moving in. Come on, dude. We have so many more men than this. Like, yeah, there we go. We're, we're actually getting up there in, in kills. Very nice. Yes. Yeah, they, they haven't even sent in, like, a good majority of our troops yet, either. It's, like, a little less than, than 400. Yeah, here we go. Some more troops getting in here. Very nice. Are we finally pushing in, lads? Come on. Uh, it's tough, though. They still have us pinned up against these walls, dude. Yeah, they, they've got us getting shit on by the walls right now. Yeah, and our archers aren't doing shit. They ran out of ammunition, so they're, they're just kind of charging in there. Yeah, here we go. More allies coming in. God damn it, dude. Come on. We got to... They're closing this gap, and we need to... We need to widen that gap a little bit more. We need more kills than they have. But that's so much red. Like, I hate to see that. All right, we got another influx of allies. We have 11 of our own men on, on, the, uh, on the field this time. Oh, dear God. I'm sweating right now, dude. This is insane. Yeah, it's just an absolute meat grinder. They've retaken the walls, too. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty tough, man. This is pretty tough. And the number of uh, reinforcements we get every time is pretty ass. Like, look at all these low-tier men. Like, this sucks. I don't know. We might actually lose this fight. Because look at this. They, they've retaken the walls. But their archer formation and their uh, the rest of their uh, infantrymen are kind of all here defending. But then again, I think these all might be... No, they're, these are low-tier infantrymen. Yeah, look at them. Jesus, dude. This is awful. But they haven't sent in my men yet, I don't think. Because we have only have 15 wounded. And there's only two men that are actually on the field of battle from my own party. So, I don't know, dude. Yeah, Stormlands recruits. Lots of Stormlands recruits. Here we go. 56 of my own men. Yeah, they've gotten so many more kills than us, dude. Come on. 
We can take this. Yeah, there we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, look at the house, Tana, man. Come on, dude. Get in there, lads. Yeah, this entire flank over here has just been fucking destroyed, dude. Where are these lads going? Come on. Fight them back, you bastards. Throw them off their own walls. Yeah, here comes more of the house Tanaman. Yes. They're too strong, they cry. I hope that's not my men saying that. There we go. More of my men. Oh no, 58 of my men have been wounded. So I think this might be it. This might be the final push. We might have lost this. I don't know. It's a lot of green. I don't know. We might have lost this. 18 men left to their 90. Yeah. Yeah, we lost. Uh, we barely lost. Damn it. That's awful. Oh, man. That sucks. Man. But, yeah, there's just there's so many Lannisters around. Go and uh, help them out at Clegane's Keep, please. Somebody, bro. Fuck. Don't just let them retake it. We were doing so good. The Lannisters are almost wiped out. It's literally just Lannisport. They want another 22,000. Yeah, fine. Fine. All right. Well, at the very least, we made it out. We made it back to, like, allied territories. But damn it, dude. I'm so mad. We were so close to taking Lannisport. God damn it. I led all those men to their deaths. Ah, that sucks. Justin Massey's nearby. Todrick's nearby. Nice. So Roderick Hill has joined my party. Lady Elyra. Lovely. Yeah, we're going to have nothing but like low tier troops. So we're going to have to take the fight to some of these minor parties. Donald Swan. Good to see you. So Thoros. Ooh, an elite blacksmith. Fuck yeah, dog. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. Sir Jeremy Steed is staying at Storm's End. Bring your ass, my friend. believe there's anything that i can do about that without thrusting the stormlands into a into a war with like the rivers in the north you know because we we would have to execute uh what's his name Bruce bolton and unfortunately for us as of right now we don't really have a cause to do so so unfortunately i think uh, rob stark and catelyn stark are both gonna meet their end in this uh in this series of ours which is a shame truly ah oh, a courier with a ransom offer for the freedom of sir reynard virwell they want 3200 yes give me my man and sir jeremy is still moving to our party it's kind of taken him a while I, I don't know what's uh yeah recall to my party thank you they're both moving now towards me. I don't know what's taking uh, Lord Jeremy Steed so long. I'm a little nervous. I hope he's not, like, bugged, you know? That would suck. Really puts a damper on, on everything, if I'm being honest. Perfect. Never mind. He's joined our, our party, so that's fine. All right. We've kind of got them uh, cut down still. Uh, they've taken Clegane's... Uh, yeah, Clegane's Keep. Damn it, dude. We needed to take that. We needed to take uh, Lannisport. 
and then turn our attentions. Yeah, because they, they've recently taken it and granted it to the Lords of Golden Tooth. Formerly Golden Tooth. But Corwin of House Ronning, uh, yeah, Ronnington. Or Connington, there we go, Connington. <laughs> is, uh, is laying siege, which is fine. But damn it, Lannisport. That's still, like, our last conquest. It's just Lannisport, Clegane's Keep, and then it's on to the Red Keep of King's Landing. Oh. Tywin Lannister has been taken prisoner. Perfect. I guess they were hiding out in Clegane's Keep, and then, uh, Corwin took it. Not bad. Very nicely done. <gasps> Lannisport is under siege. No, it can't be taken by anyone other than us. Damn it. I'm so mad. All right, so there was a bug. Uh, I don't know what happened. It says that there's nobody available to uh, take on the role. So I, I had to enter a dialogue and then tell them I wanted to assign them a role. So now we have everybody set up the way they need to be. But for some reason, it's, I don't know, it's kind of broken. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the issue is, but it's honestly not important. Oh, man, I'm so mad. <gasps> Marcella Baratheon. Ah, oh, the Princess Marcella. Interesting. Eustace Brune, Gerald Staunton. We abstain. Doesn't matter. Yeah, they're going to grant it to Sebastian of House Errol. Nice. The new owner of Clegane's Keep. Yeah, all that's left are King's Landing and Lannisport. All right, we're going to let the princess go. I don't really give a shit about her. Gregor Clegane's army. Yeah, we're going to fight the bastard again. Oh, and Sir Meryn Trance, we attack. Come on, dude. Come on. I feel like I should have ended this episode by now, but I'm having way too much fun. And it's a Friday by the time y'all are actually seeing this. So enjoy a nice long episode to enjoy over the course of the weekend as we continue to beat down these fucking lattices. Yeah, honestly, no hesitation. Everybody get in there. Now, I did, unfortunately, have to come and steal all of these men from uh, the garrison at, at Sharps Point and Dragonstone. But honestly, it should be fine. It's honestly not that big of a deal. Yeah, we still have a lot of low-tier troops with uh, among our ranks as well, but it should be fine. Oh, shit. Ooh. Oh, the lag is getting pretty bad. Who knows, maybe I should have actually ended this episode. <laughs> Ay yeah, Come here, you bastards. Nice. Oh, it's chaos. It's chaos on the field. Oh, come here. Yes, Gregor Clegane is down. His banner is down. Also, oh, Roderick, good to see you. Damn, right over his head. That's right, you win some, you lose some. Yeah, I, I feel like uh, Sir Roderick's gonna accident accidentally get himself hurt by me. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, Sir Thoros Stormsea and Sir Roderick Hill of House Rain. Very nicely done, lads. Yeah, we still lost three men. Two Hammermen and an Apprentice Tanner. But that's all right, honestly. It's fine. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I, need, I needed a victory after that, that smashing defeat upon the walls of Lannisport. That was tough. I don't know, man. Like, honestly, even if we can't win against or even if we're not the ones to take it you know take lannisport we're most definitely still gonna have to go and help out in the siege battle there we go yeah we got lots of level ups now i do feel bad though that we uh i had to take all of my my troops out of the garrison like that but you know the threat to the far east had been neutralized when we declared peace so i'm honestly not too worried about it Alright, let's take a look-see here. Ooh. 
There's still a lot of enemies around. Maybe we'll uh, we'll meet up with Corwin. Yeah, there because there's there's still a lot of them around here. Holy shit! All right, all right. Flemint, hello. Yeah, look at all these minor lords around here. Yeah, Walder Frey with a thousand men. Yeah, you're welcome. We weakened their fucking defenses for you, rat bastard. Ah, yeah, they have 865 defenders compared to the fucking 1400 we were facing uh, earlier. It was it was 1200, but whatever. I'm mad. All right. Come on, come on, little Lannisters. Come along, little lions. No? Yeah, they, there's not enough men between all of these Lannisters here to to raid a pantry. Can I help in the siege battle? Will it let me? Yeah, join the continuing siege. It will let me, but I, I'm not going to join in just yet. I might wait here until they actually start the battle, and then we'll jump in there. Because yeah, there's still a lot of Lannisters riding around here. But I also want to keep an eye out to make sure they don't take any of the other lands behind us. I don't give a shit if we don't have Lannisport. Like, it's fine. At some point, we might actually go to war against the Riverlands. Because I might force it upon ourselves. Because, honestly, fuck uh, Walder Frey. Oh, they've started the battle. Hold on. How many men do they have in here? Oh, 389. Yeah, they, they got beaten down pretty bad. All right, lads. We jump in here. Join the continuing siege, and we attack. This will be our justice, our defining moment now, lads. This right here will be the last step before we take King's Landing and install King Renly upon his rightful throne. But first, we must retake, or I guess take for the first time, uh, Lannisport. This right here will be justice for all of our fallen brothers, all the lives that were smashed upon the walls and the gates of Lannisport. Follow your sergeants! Yeah, here we go, lads. Finally. Yeah, look at these Brackens, dude. I like the Brackens. I like the Blackwoods, don't get me wrong. In that that whole like personal beef, that personal conflict. I like the Brack or the Blackwoods over the Brackens. But the Brackens are cool as fuck too, bro. I don't know what it is. Like I don't know shit about like they don't have any special troops or whatever, but like just the Bracken sigil is super cool to me. Oh shit. Who was that? Sir Roderick, no! No, Sir Roderick! He's not dead, don't get me wrong, but he got sniped the fuck out, dude. That was insane. That was a ballista bolt. Holy fuck. Oh no, my Riverlanders. Oh, he's got like one eye closed. That man got fucked up too. Holy shit. Alright, we're gonna get we're gonna have to go and take down that uh that fucking ballista. Cause they're gonna cause some issues. Holy shit. Get off it. Get off it. There we go. Ow. How rude. That was justice for Sir Roderick, you bastards. Get off it. Aw, oh, damn. Get off it. Mom said it was my turn on the ballista. Sorry, <laughs> I couldn't help myself. That one was kind of funny. Wow. It's good to see that I'm still absolute dog shit with the crossbow, dude. Despite my best efforts, obviously. Yeah, we're going to let the uh, the Riverlanders uh, lead the charge on this one, I think. Get off it. Get off it. Yeah, look at all the Bracken men. I don't know what it is. If y'all know anything about the Brackens, let me know. If you have a favorite Riverlander house, let me know. Because I would love to do a Riverlander uh, series here at some point. Just because of how cool these guys look. Like, the, the little fish helmet is actually really badass, in my opinion. 
These Tully Knights, not bad. Oh, look, Sir Jeremy, yes, I'll fight by your side, my friend. Climb up and clear the way, and I shall watch your back as your liege lord. Bro, me and Sir Jeremy Steed out here conquering the fucking Westerlands. Side by side. Poor Sir Roderick, though, dude. That man got absolutely obliterated by that, uh, by that ballast of bolts. Alright, come on, Sir Jeremy. We gotta get some kills before we fall in this battle. We gotta get at, at least a couple, dude. And I, I don't count my, my ranged kills as kills just yet. Come on, you fuckers. Why are their shields so strong? Jesus. There we go. There we go. So Thoros Storm Seas out here getting some uh, some fucking kills too, dude. Hell yeah. Come on. Once again, we find ourselves at the top of these walls, and we will not be thrown off. Kill the bastards all. Oh no, where's Sir Jeremy? Sir Jeremy, no, where did you go, my friend? Oh no, I lost him. Where did he go? I was about to say, I can't see him. I hope he didn't get thrown off. That would suck. I hope he's just like, fell. Or like, you know, was, was wounded on the field. Come on, you bastards. Jesus, it's nothing but shields. Oh, fuck me. I love that for myself. Damn. Yeah, Sir Jeremy Steed was wounded. That's all right. Yeah, look at the Riverlanders. Go on. The River Lords. It's a lot of green. Come on now, lads. Yeah, these House Tully men, not bad. Yeah, very nicely done. Good shit, guys. Hey, we got 20 kills on that. That's not bad. 22, 63, 29, 20, 44. Not bad. Yeah, we did pretty good. I'll, I'll say that. Stefan Swift was in here. Yeah, very interesting. Oh, with six men. <laughs> it doesn't matter, I suppose. Well, finally, Lannisport has been taken. It may not have been taken by us, lads, but we've taken Lannisport. Or at least it fell, is what I should say. I know that the, uh, Lord Walder Frey, I don't think we have met properly, my friend. You just saved my life out there, and I still don't know your name. My name is Lord Stefan the Stormhammer, Lord of, uh, Dragonstone, and head of House Tanner. Well met indeed, Lord Stefan. My name is Walder Frey, and I am forever in your debt. Perhaps one day you'll make a fine match for one of my daughters. I think the fuck not, you decrepit ass old man. <laughs> fuck that dude. Anyway. Yeah, look, all of our companions were wounded in that fight. Damn, dude. A uh, fucking Lannisport. The Siege of Lannisport is... Oh, the Banner of the Night. Increased charge damage. Who is our... Mounted commander. I think it's Sir Thoros. I could be wrong about that, but we're gonna give him that anyway Yeah, the the siege of Lannisport is kind of like our equivalent of like D-Day or Malevolon Creek You know what I'm saying? Ah, oh, sweet Jesus All right, so we're gonna wait around here I just want to see who they end up granting Lannisport to but look at that the whole of the Westerlands have been liberated and all that remains for the Lannisters is King's Landing. So, once we find out who uh, is granted the Lordship of Lannisport, uh, we will head on out. I've also sent a raven to King Renly so we can drop off our prisoners with him. They granted it to House Smallwood. Interesting. Well, congratulations, Lord Smallwood. That's fine. Alright, we head west to King's Landing. My friend, it's been a while. Uh, your grace, I have a gift for you. I had Gregor Clegane, but alas. I love that I'm richer than the king. Oh yeah, this dude's broke as shit. That's fine. <laughs> Whatever, I'll take it. Anyway, I must leave now. Your grace, thank you. Alrighty, lads, this is it. 
Oh, Shira Lannister. Get lost. Yeah, we're going to sit here and we're going to guard it. There's 1,400 men here. So if we thought Lannisport was going to be tough, the, the Siege of King's Landing is going to be absolutely fucking difficult. Now, we have a limited amount of, uh, of influence here. Especially after having lost uh, the first siege or the first assault on Lannisport. Yeah, so we're going to start to summon our army. I, w I don't want anything less than like 2,000 men. And honestly, I might just like cheese the fuck out of it and grant like... And just grab everybody that I can. You know? There we go. All the lords over 100. But that's going to take all my fucking influence too. That's awful. Alright, lads. We've summoned our armies... We besiege the town of Lannisport. We'll see how this turns out for us, lads. I'm a little nervous. I'm not even going to lie. Just because of how poorly everything turned out the last time. And they have a, an ass load of defenders here. And now that uh, all of the Westerlands have been taken. Oh yeah, She-Ra's army. Uh, they're all going to be heading this way they're all going to be heading east now right towards us so i see lannister is out jesus i didn't realize she was freed yeah but look at that all of our uh our clansmen our countrymen fuck oh no <gasps> bannon of the north yeah roderick forrest of the north all these people of the north no a messenger approaches your party his face pale and voice trembling my my lord I bear despicable tidings, he stammers. Rob Stark, the king in the north, has been murdered. The Freys and Boltons conspired with the backing of Tywin and murdered him in cold blood as a welcomed guest. Instantly, the north and Riverlands are mere shadows of what they were, and the Westerlands are stronger than ever. Do you aid what's left of the north to avenge this treachery? Do you stand with House Tully at Riverrun and fights off the enemies on all angles? Or do you just be opportunistic and capitalize from the chaos any way you can? What will you choose? Oh dear god. Please tell me they're not actually strong now. <laughs> the Westerlands, please. Oh my god, that'd be awful. Alright, let me, let me see this. Please tell me. Oh my god, no! We were so close! Fuck! Oh no. They have- they do have so much strength now. Fuck. We were so close. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I don't think the Siege of King's Landing is going to be the best bet here. Fuck me, dude. Renly Baratheon created an army, though. Very nice. Hello, your grace. Alright. I don't think it's going to be enough just to destroy their their siege weapons. We might have to actually bust down their walls, if I'm being honest. Aldoran has reached the age of eight, and he needs your guidance. Oh my god, this is going to be a very long episode. I'm sorry, guys. Doran is now at an age when it is customary to assign a well-born child a tutor. T tutor. I keep saying tutor. What the fuck is wrong with me? You decide to entrust him to your... Nah, let's give him to my master at arms. Fuck it. Uh, one-handed. Let's give him two-handed for sure. Yeah, your master at arms is happy with the child's progress. He informs you that this... That he shows some natural talent in pole arms. Very nice. Cool. My boy. Come on, bust down the walls, lads. This is going to be tough. This is going to be a tough fight for sure. Come on, the siege of King's Landing. The city burns and the people cry out for a savior and there shall be none. Oh, it's done. Look at that. Two broken walls. That's amazing. Ah, oh, dude, this is going to be absolutely epic. Damn, I wish we could get it, like, in the full picture. But, like, the King's Landing and then all of the uh, the banners here. Damn, this is going to be really cool. But this will be for next week's episode. Next Friday, lads. One week. One week. And then the Siege of King's Landing will be underway. See, I've learned from my my defeat at the hands of the Lannisters at, uh, at Lannis Port. So rather than just throwing my men upon the walls, we will be charging through the breaches that we made. We have uh, broken down their walls. 
uh, with the great Stormhammer himself. But for now, the Siege of King's Landing will have to wait. So until next week's episode, always remember honor and service, glory and sacrifice. And I, your Lord Commander, will see you in the battles ahead. Goodbye, my friends.